not a game, it's a red skin. Another day, another federal fraud case. So according to BET.com, Basketball Wives LA cast member British Williams has reportedly been indicted by a federal grand jury in St. Louis on fraud charges. On September 22nd, Williams, who appeared on Basketball Wives LA's third season, was indicted on five felony charges of misuse of a social security number, four charges of bank fraud, three charges of making false statements to the IRS, three charges of wire fraud, and three charges of aggravated identity theft. According to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Williams was arrested Thursday and pleaded not guilty to the charges in U.S. District Court in St. Louis the same day. Prosecutors claim Williams used false social security numbers in 2017 to obtain loans, lines of credit, and other funds from financial institutions. During the following two years, Williams allegedly deposited four checks valued between $4,500 and $5,800 into accounts she controlled. She subsequently withdrew the money before the checks bounced or banks realized they were fraudulent, prosecutors say. Williams' lawyer, Jason Corner, said his client has been targeted because of her celebrity and I expect that to be clear once the evidence is produced. So that is the end of the BET.com article about British. Um, I remember British from Basketball Wives LA. I liked her on the show, but, you know, I didn't really follow her too much after that. I know that she does have a young daughter that's probably somewhere around three years old. Um, so if she ends up getting locked up because of this, um, that is really sad because now she's going to have to spend time away from her baby. Now, we don't know if she is guilty, right? These are just charges. She has not been convicted yet. So this is all alleged. However, there are an alarming number of fraud cases coming out with the social media stars and with these reality stars. And I think, or I hope, that the average Joe and Jane is taking a look at this. You know, one thing you need to understand about the feds, and this is something that um, on my, I think either the morning show with uh, In From New York or the Expendables podcast that I do also with In From New York, we talked about this with another person that had just caught fraud charges, which is that the feds don't play. Their conviction rate is well over 90%. Okay, so when they come for you, they've been watching you. You know, in this article, it's 2021. Now, in this article that I just read, they're talking about stuff she was doing in 2017. So don't assume for a second that because you might have done something three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, that, oh, they don't care. Uh, I, I got away with it. <laughs> that doesn't mean that, you know, there could be a lot of reasons why you're just now getting convicted or not convicted, sorry, getting charged with something, right? She's not convicted yet. But I think that there's a bigger conversation that needs to be had around this. You know, um, a lot of us, you know, and, and when I say us, I mean people that are consumers of reality TV, that watch and participate a lot in social media, especially in the urban sector, um, where it comes to shows like Love and Hip Hop, Basketball Wives, you know, that, that kind of stuff. You know, um, we watch a lot of the rappers, right? Hip Hop, all this stuff. What do we see all day long? When you're looking at Instagram, what are people doing? They're showing their chains right they're showing that uh it's their birthday and their man or their woman just bought them their fifth car <laughs> right their jewelry their purses their i have more than you 
And for some reason, a lot of us, okay, regular folks feel like we need to compete with that. Now, it's one thing, hey, if you work hard and you have something and you want to say, man, I'm proud of myself. I was able to get this and it was beautiful, whatever it is. You know, I'm happy. I love my home or my car or my shoes or whatever. That's cool. If you can really afford it and you just really are excited about just showing people, hey, look what I was able to do for myself or look what my person that, that loves me, my man and my woman did for me. This is love. That's cool. But I really personally believe a lot of the times it's not about love. It's not about a prideful moment because I worked hard for something. It's more so about look what I got that you don't have. Right. And now we're starting to see, you know, with these multiple people, <laughs> you know, that and I will definitely look up the people and put their pictures and their names up. Um that are getting caught out there because they're trying to keep up with people that really have money. Understand that all that PPP loan stuff where they're starting to put out lists of who have what and when, who took advantage of what, when, between last year and this year, they're not done. So you might think, hey, they haven't said nothing to me. They haven't done anything to me. You know, I did that in 2020. That <laughs> doesn't mean anything. I just wish that people would start to think. Just think. You know, what is it really worth to you to have whatever? <laughs> I don't know. The newest pair of Yeezys that are ugly as hell just to floss and say look what I got you know when are we going to change our mindset around those things you know I really want to know you know I think that it's going to take a long time that's like a really big mental reset that's going to have to happen and it's going to have to be consciously done and I think it can happen and I think possibly maybe the more that we see stars or whatever you want to call them people in the public eye if you don't feel that like you know she's a celebrity or people that are on those shows are celebrities but they're people that are in the public eye the more that we keep seeing them start to get busted and we realize hey the life that they're perpetrating to have they don't really have it like that maybe people will start to be comfortable in their own skin let's be individuals again you know, like what you like because you like it. Not because it's the thing to do. You know, not because you need a whole lot of attention from strangers. Be your own person. You know, I think that we need to get back to that. You know, it's cool to like things that other people like. But don't change your character and don't bust your ass trying to do things that can make you lose your freedom <laughs> it's not worth it and you know i really hope that you know this whole thing works out for her uh, we'll find out you know we'll stay tuned and find out what's gonna happen but i think that this is a cautionary tale and i hope that um you know i hope my people are paying attention to this because this this kind of breaks my heart to know that she has a young baby like that and she could be away from her for years because of what she's doing and i'm curious to know are we ever going to know why she was doing it you know was she doing it to floss or was she doing it because she i don't know she didn't have money and didn't have skills and didn't know what else to do like i don't know why was she why was she doing this if she actually indeed was doing this so hopefully we find out the answers, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about this case and um, the other recent fraud cases. Let's talk about it.